Now, in the last segment, I left y'all with my boy YB talking about his introduction to the Renegade Revolver, how he met up and got down with the Renegade. But this segment specifically is about the meat of the first Brim Game mixtape. And that artist is Mayhem. Now, the first artist y'all ever been introduced to was Duffelback Dallas. And his segment is not up yet. But trust me, just keep waiting. You're gonna He's going to tell you his story because I have to interview him first. And you're going to love his story as well. But this one right here, you're going to love. Because one, Mayhem is a, has a longer history than Duffelback Dollars. Mayhem is a different type of artist. I met Mayhem when we were uh, both teenagers at his cousin's house. And um, he spit a couple rhymes for me. Uh, at that time, he, you know, he was he was I right, He was I. Right. So um, later on... He started developing his own label, and and between this time, this is when I introduced him to a good friend of mine named Bugsy Hoffa, who was in the uh, process of making his own label called 151 Productions at the time. Um, Mayhem was over there. He recorded a few, you know, a few songs such as Rise. Um, we recorded in the beginning there a, a version of both these songs and. Um, it's another song he recorded over there. I can't remember right now. But um, he didn't really enjoy his time at 151 due to a lot of uh, infighting in the group with other artists. And he also had a problem, you know, with the CEO at the time, Bugsy. Um, I'm not really sure what became of that or what started that but I'm gonna let Mayhem tell his side of the story so that way you'll get an in-depth look at Mayhem. Um as of right now Mayhem has just completed completed the first Brim Game mixtape um and the Brim Game 2 mixtape is almost in completion. He's also working on his solo mixtape which is called Mark of the Grim and I know you guys are gonna love that. Um, Mayhem is our more darker artist. He represents a wider array than Duffel Bag Dollars. I mean, Duffel Bag Dollars I would consider as the popular school, but Mayhem is the senior student in the school who's known around the campus. So we'll put it on that level. Think of Duffel Bag Dollars as a new kid in school and Mayhem as a senior student. Um, the reason I put Mayhem on this mixtape is because a lot of the songs that Mayhem and I were working on during the, during that specific time period um, never got to see the light of day because the label that he was working with kind of shelved him and um, being a good friend I am I got him out that situation got the rights to his music and I was like hey you know I'm, I'm, we need to do do something with this music so initially when I brought him the mixtape uh, idea Mayhem was very reluctant Mayhem was like yo I don't want to do this game nah I'm good so I had to wait a couple years, wait till he softened up. And I surprised him and I said, yo, Mayhem, I got your songs from this mixtape, bro. And my songs as well. Either you're going to mess with it or you're not. Come to my house. We're going to have a sit down. You ain't seen me in a while. We'll see how, you know, your state of mind is. He come back. You know, Mayhem was a total different person. He wasn't even the same Mayhem. <laughs> he wasn't even the same Mayhem. So I was like, damn, this guy's grown up. So let's see how, you know what he thinks about the renegade i showed him the project you know he, he took some time to think about it. he came back around and he was like yo dame i'm with it you know you push my music further than bugsy hoffa could ever push my music and that's no disrespect to shout out, but shout out to bugsy hoffa because he did his thing at 151 and i want him to know if he dev, ever does see this documentary that he did do his thing and we appreciate it but he couldn't give us the proper home that made him need it. And over here at Renegade Revolver, I believe that he's more nurtured and we know how to develop an artist better than um, they could at his previous home. Um, Mayhem is on about roughly five tracks on the mixtape. The Brim Game one that I'm talking about. Um, track two 
to track six. All that is mayhem. So if you were to look at the Brim game as a, a musical showcase, Duffel Bag Dallas will open and close the show, and Mayhem would be the showcase. He would actually be the, the star attraction. Um, Mayhem started me into ramen, and he had seen some type of development and talent that I had just, you know, knowing the business of music and the knowledge on hip hop and he was like yo Dane you'd be a nice MC yo you hop on these tracks with me so I hop on the tracks and man was like yo you're getting better man brought me to his um his mentor his rap um predecessor named Laszlo the Sandman shout out to Laszlo and Laszlo got to hear some of my tracks and he helped develop us as artists um there are other artists that we were affiliated with um JR Joe Black K Dub and a few others that I can't name right now, but uh, I'm not sure if they'll ever be on any future Brimgate mixtapes. But if their sound is ready, I don't mind putting them on the mixtape. I believe that that will bring Mayhem a little bit more happiness because I know Mayhem is in a new situation, so he's like kind of nervous. But I believe that if Mayhem applies himself, he's gonna do really well at Renegade, and he's gonna do way better than he ever did previously anyway and anywhere else so without any further ado i want to introduce y'all to mayhem the grim reaper <laughs> 